All right, hello everyone, and welcome back to my Indie on the Rock series, where I sit back and relax with a nice drink in hand and play an interesting indie game that has sparked my interest recently. And for today's episode, we are looking at Hymn of the Sands. Now this, this looks quite interesting. Now first and foremost, what piqued my interest on this is this is another game made by a group of students from the SMU Guild Hall. Now, this group of students have called themselves Working As Intended Studios, which, love that name, very cool. And uh, it, this is sort of a action RPG-ish sort of game where you play as Osiris, who has woken from a uh, great sleep and is trying to regain immortality, and you can switch between the worlds of the living and the worlds of the dead, as you can kind of tell from the background on this uh, home menu here. So I, I'm quite excited to try this. Now, if uh, some of you have watched me for a while, you know that I'm actually an archaeologist. And even though I specialize in Roman archaeology, as with most archaeologists, I have a fascination with all things Egyptian. So I'm intrigued to see this, and... Yeah, it fascinates me. So as we always start, let's look at the options. Kinda lacking. Uh, eh, you know me in options. I like having as many options as physically possible. But all we have is resolution, full screen or not full screen, and then sound volume or sound volumes. And uh, I will give it to them that uh, you have a nice few sound sliders here. So master sound effects, music, and dialogue. But I'm not seeing anything for particles in here, anti-aliasing, or anything like that. And that, that always disappoints me a bit when I don't have those options. I like them. They're wonderful, wonderful things. But, oh well, it's, uh, well, it's a free game. I can't really complain too much. And let's just go straight in to, well, a new game. Ooh, now this may actually explain the story that I just also explained to you. In your time as Pharaoh, you have seen many things. Excellent. Seen the sun and moon rise over your lands. Seen the flooding of the Nile as it turned cracked sand into fertile dirt. Good times. You were beloved by your people. I mean, come on, who wouldn't now, love me? That time is past. In death, you awaken. Not as the Pharaoh, but as something more. Cool. Your ascension into Godhood comes at great risk. Um, the devourer of the dead stands in your way. Well, that's not very kind of him. Arise, Osiris. Okay, you know, I guess I could wake up, you know. I feel nice and rested now. Okay, now, like I said, it is sort of an action RPG. Awaken in another world. Oh, yes, indeed Seek we have. Your powers within the temple, then return to me here. And yeah, it's sort of uh, along the style of Diablo or, uh, you know, games like that. Isometric view, dungeon crawler, RPG. Uh, not very many options here for things. We don't seem to have any mana, just health. We have shift, space, and right and left mouse click. Ooh, a sword. Well, that's good. So the Blade of Isis. We can do some attacks there. So like we do single attacks and recharge, or do like quick strikes, and we can seem to do three of those. Hmm. Hello, bugs. I really love the art design of this and the lighting. The lighting is just impeccable. That is really nice. Ah, uh, oh, hello. Got giant scarabs. Die, scarab. Okay. Oh, how do you get behind me? Alright, so that went well. Go over. Whoop. Note to self avoid those. Huh. Oh, can I break this pot? Oh, I can! Ah, a little Zelda action in here. I mean, come on, you, you gotta. You gotta have fun breaking pots and vases and whatnot. Anything with that? No. 
Not seeing any chests or anything to grab. Ah, some more pots. With health that I am just scooping up pointlessly. Lovely. Oh, I have a feeling this is a puzzle. Maybe? Ah, follow the orb. Ah, more scarabs. Okay. Combat is a little sluggish, I have to say. It's not extraordinarily responsive. The animation's a little bit clunky, but still quite usable. What is that bar there? Let's see. No, it's not doing anything when I do my attacks. I have no idea. Oh, oh that's cool. We got a little wire frame when we go behind things. Oh, that's never a good sign when something closes behind you. Ah, so that orb came right there, and it's pointing to that. So I'm guessing we have to go down these two side wings to find more of those. Oh, oh no. Another door. Did you do anything? No, you fountain, you do not. Hmm... Let's go there. I'm very wary of these large metallic grates. I have a bad feeling that they're going to, uh, you know, open up on me. Ah, Hand of Os... Oh, God. And... Okay, so that's a smash attack. That's knock back to enemies. I'm guessing I just have a timer on it. Ah, so about three seconds. I can work with that. Very nice. Get that there. So we have a sword. Our stomp attack. I'm wondering what the next ones will be. Oh, and space bar. Does a good amount of damage, too, to these little scarabs here. Knock that. And that is two of the three orbs we need to get. Lovely. So let's just head down this route then. I wonder what our next power will be. Oh, that's not good. Spirit Drain. Okay, what does that do? Uh, to steal health from your foes. Oh, that could be very useful. I'm guessing I have to do it to these. Maybe. Ah, and then... Oh, nope. Recharge. There we go. Ah, so I activated him. And then we just steal health from him while he attacks me. Ah, so that's what that bar is down at the bottom of me. It's like a secondary health bar. Oh, awesome. I just killed him by uh, dropping him down there. That's cool. Nice little knockback. Okay, note to self, though. That means I could probably also fall down there and die. And I... Oh, I don't need that. Oh, okay, so we did unlock that orb just then. Very good, and that's those three. I wish I remembered hieroglyphs. I'd try and figure out what that says. But I have not read hieroglyphs in a very long time. And yeah. Don't even want to try to pronounce that. But oh well, let's keep moving. Hello, let's drain your power. Then knock back. And take out these. Oh, we need your help. Oh, God, I need to run. I need to run. I am stuck. I am stuck. There we go. Take your health. Excellent. That did not go quite as well as I had hoped. Oh. What did thou oh, that activated him? I don't like him at all. Oh god, okay, I'm getting some major damage dealt to me here. Oh, I am almost dead. I am almost dead. Let's stomp. Then take his health. There we go. Grab that. This is actually kind of difficult. Probably wouldn't be quite so bad if I was actually skilled in any way, shape, or form. Go after some of these pots to get a little extra health. Then activate that and back away from that guy because he is going to pop up. Okay, scarabs, pretty easy to take down. 
And is he not going to wake up? Ah, Anubis step down to the bridge and enter the living realm again. Lovely. Cool. Thank you, Anubis. I know I could trust you. Oh, nice. Even my model changed. So not just the actual environment itself, but also my guy kind of changed too. That is cool, though. Oh no, my powers! I have no powers! Uh-oh. Oh, well that's kind of cool, though, because that means we'll probably have different weapons and powers, depending on if we're in the world of the living or the dead. Ah. So that's the... Ooh, I like that. The Blade of Osiris striking multiple foes in my arc. That is good. I like it. I guess head back this way. Oh, there we go. Ooh, that deals some good attack damage. I am liking this. So I guess we head back in here now. And go after the scarabs. But yeah, definitely, the art style of this game is absolutely beautiful. The modeling work, very, very good. The animations of the enemies are quite good. The animation of... Huh. The guy in the living world actually seems to have slightly smoother animations than the guy in the world of the dead. I could be just imagining things, though. But that appears to be what it is to me. Hmm... All right, so we're going back to these areas. A little bit of uh, reuse, but... Ooh, blink. Oh, yes, blink. I always love a good blink power. Yeah, so, yeah, a little bit of... You know, it's, of course, reuse of level assets doing this whole uh, switching between living and dead. But at the same time, it brings new things, like those gates before I was worried about them for good reason. And I did not notice the fire shooting nozzles on the side, so spacebar. Oh, don't get hit by that. Oh, God. Oh, man. Okay, so that shoots too... Oh, no, it's just kind of a fast pace thing there. Jump across, ow. Okay, okay. Now lost five points of damage. That should be easily recovered, though, from some bases. Ah, excellent. There we are. And blink across. Oh, wait. Oh, I had to activate that. There we are. Oh, oh, ow. <laughs> I tried walking towards the fire and blinking, but apparently glitched a little bit and did take some fire damage. Okay, so we're going the opposite way now. Interesting. Breath of Ra. Let's see what this does. Burn your foes from afar. Okay. So that's interesting. So it's like a one second regen. Ow, that guy dealt poison damage. That is not cool, man. Not cool at all. Eat fire. There we go. Very good. Ah, and that... Was that two orbs? Oh, we're going to have to blink here. Excellent. I do like the powers you get in this game. Very, very cool. Oh, good. Just two things to unlock. And... Take fire. And then that. Very nice. And those are the spikes just as they always were. Oh, I don't like you. Take fire. Ooh, blink behind you. Ow, that hurt. Oh god, I don't have the drain life thing. That's actually going to be a bad thing. <laughs> so I liked having that. Ooh, ow, oh, ow. Take fire. And one more fire. There we go. Ooh, man, he did good damage to me. That hurt a lot. Ow. Oh, I'm gonna have to fight these guys, aren't I? I'm gonna die. Realm shift. Okay, yep, I need to realm shift and get the Healy Beam. There we go. Healy Beam. And Healy Beam. And 
And hold on. Knockback. Okay, let's do a knockback shift to do the damage in the arc. Fireball. Blink away. Okay, the combination of powers is quite cool. Let's shift back for some healing beam. And... Oh, no, 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 no. All right. I really like the being able to shift between the two to use your different powers. Shift back and finish him off with the heal beam. There we go. I mean, technically, it's a life-draining beam, but it heals me. Thus, healing beam. Oh, I do like that transitioning. That is very cool. And quite nice and seamless as well. Oh, cool. So it's got different things in the world as well. I thought it was just a retexture, but no, it seems to be a bit more than that. And yeah, well, that was the first level of a Hymn of the Sands. I'm going to leave it here so you guys can go and enjoy this yourself. It is a very cool little RPG, or action RPG, rather. I love this shift ability here, going between the worlds of the living and the worlds of the dead and having the different powers and the uh, different realms makes it very cool for combat. You know, you can just sort of shift between the universes and use your different weapons and powers to your advantage. Very cool. The texturing and modeling on this game is just amazing. The lighting effects are glorious. I love that we have this flaming sword here and it emits lights and shadow with me. That is very cool. And blink. Yeah, the animations are a little bit janky, but they aren't too bad, honestly. They're very usable still. And very fun. I mean, the enemies have seem to have slightly better animations, which I still find kind of weird, but... Overall, very, very cool game. I would definitely recommend this. It is once again Him of the Sands, made by the Working As Intended Studios, a group of students from the SMU Guildhall. I, I really love the SMU Guildhall, man. Those students there just keep producing really wonderful games. So uh, kudos to that school. They're doing a very good job of teaching their students. And yeah, definitely go and check this out. Links, as always, will be in the description. And yeah, I hope you all have enjoyed this episode. I know I certainly have. This is a cool little game. And I hope you go and try this out for yourself. And of course, that you come back for the next episode where we will be looking at yet another fun indie game. But until then, thank you for watching, my friends. And as always, have a good one. Spin around.